I got a comment from Chris the Hacks Baller asking me to make a video explaining how to memorize as many digits of pi as possible. Now I know you might not be interested in memorizing digits of pi, and that's okay, but the overarching idea I'm talking about can be applied to absolutely anything, so still pay close attention even though you don't want to memorize digits of pi. So let me get started. So when it comes to memorizing numbers in general, it's very important on which system you use. So right here we have 100,000 digits of pi. And that is a lot of numbers, right? And so the simplest number system you can use is the number rhyme system. And I made a video explaining what that is. I'll include a link down below. But the general idea is that you change the numbers from 0 to 9 into images based off the rhyme. So 0, hero, 1, sun, 2, shoe, and so on. But the problem with the system is that the images could repeat a lot depending on how many digits you're memorizing. So if you're trying to memorize 100,000 digits of pi, you can just look right away. You can see a lot of zeros, twos, a lot of numbers repeat, right? Of course they're going to. Pi is infinite. So what happens is when you're memorizing, you're going to be seeing a lot of ones, right? So a lot of suns. Oh my, you're like, man, I see so many suns. I see so many shoes, right? Twos. And that's a problem because that can mess you up because you keep seeing the same images over and over and over again. Now the system I have is a two-digit number system. So I take two digits at a time. So like one four, and I have one image for that. So instead of having 10 images, I have a, a hundred images from zero, zero to 99. So 14 is Dominic, 15 is Duncan, 92 is Preston, 65 is a judge, and so on, okay? And so that allows the repetition to go down a little bit. Of course, when you have 100,000 digits of pi, you still have a lot of repetition, but it's, gonna not, it's not gonna be as much as a single digit system. And so I go one step further and I have a PAO. So I take actually six digits at a time to make one complete image. So that really, really takes down the repetition a lot. But of course, 100,000 100, 100, digits of pi, you're still gonna have repetition. So that's the first thing you need to um, consider when you want to memorize a lot of digits, especially something like pi. What number system are you using? Do you have a single digit number system, a two digit number system? Some people have a three digit number number system, so you're taking three digits at a time. Uh, I'm not really sure if people have a four digit number system. I know people have you know, tried messing with the idea, but when you have a single digit number system, you have 10, 10 images, right? Zero to nine. Two digit number system, zero, zero to 99, so 100 images. Three digit number system, zero, zero, zero to 999, so you have 1,000. A four-digit number system, you would have 10,000 images to make, which is a lot. And so uh, I'm not sure anyone has that. So the number system is something that's really important that you have to invest time in. Because of course, you know, a one-digit number system is pretty easy, right? You have 10, 10 images. Two-digit number system, you have 100 images, so it's going to take a little bit more time. And so that's one thing you need to consider if you want to memorize something like pi. And, you know, that's pretty much going to say any numbers you're memorizing out there that have a lot to them, a lot of volume. So if you're memorizing everyone's phone number, you probably want to have a two-digit number system because a lot of numbers you know, might have similar um, pairs of numbers in them, so they might repeat a lot. Now the next thing that you could do is how do you want to store the digits that you're memorizing, your images, right? And so the uh, one way you could do it, which would be crazy, is that you could connect all your images in the story. So right here, I have one, right? So one sun. So maybe I see the sun in the sky and it's laughing because it's just a nice beautiful day. Now four door. When all of a sudden this sun gets smacked in the face by a door. Okay. And who did it? Another one, right? So sun. And so who smacked the, uh, the sun in the face with the door? It was his brother. So the brother is a son, right? So the brother's, um, the son's brother smacked him in the face with the door. And so what I'm doing is just making one continuous story out of all these numbers. Now, if you're trying to memorize 100,000 digits of pi, that is one humongous story. And I probably don't recommend it because, you know, you might lose track of it. You might skip some numbers here or there. And so it's really up to you on how you want to do it. Maybe using the story method you know, works for you. Maybe connecting everything in one big story is perfect for you. That's something you kind of have to experiment with. Um, the other way you could do this is using a memory palace, okay? So maybe something 100,000 digits of pi, you're going to need multiple memory palaces, right? But maybe if you're memorizing the first 100 digits of pi, 
and you're doing you know two digits per location you're only going to need 50 different locations right and so right here you know if i have a one digit system maybe at my bed i would see a sun and a door so maybe i see the sun surfing on the door boom move on to the next location maybe it's a couch so i see a sun five hive i see the sun and then has a hive on top of its head and it's running around because all these bees are chasing it. And so what this does is it allows you to kind of organize the information a little bit better. You're not, you know, having one big story. So it's not as easy for you to kind of miss numbers here and there. Forget your images. And it's really up to you on how many images you would want to place in a location. If I'm using a two-digit number system, maybe I want to do four um, digits per location. Or of course, you now I use a PO, so I do six naturally. But maybe if I'm doing 100,000 digits of pi, I might double up and do 12 digits at one time. And so it's really up to you on how you want to approach this. There isn't a single right answer that you have to do, you know, four digits per location. You know, if you want to, you could do 100 digits per location. It really comes down to what works for you, okay? All I, all I can really do is give you, you know, the information, give you examples of what works for me, what works for other people. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to figure out what works for you. But yeah, um, I know this video is a little bit longer than I want it to be, but I just want to make sure I'm giving you the information to really show you how, when, or when you're learning information, how important it is to kind of know what you're doing. You now, if you remember something like pi, like, okay, what number system do I have to have? Okay, I have a one-digit number system. That's probably not going to work. I have to invest time in creating a two-digit number system. Got it. How do I want to store it? Do I just want to have one big, you know, story or maybe i want to have you know, a story one big story but only for 50 digits and i place that in one location and you know, the next 50 in the next location or maybe i want to have a memory palace where i break it out to smaller chunks it's all up to you this is something that you have to do when you're learning any type of information because if you start you know kind of just going at the information like okay i have a single digit number system let me start going duh, 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 got it got it got it and then maybe right here you decide like man this is too hard too complicated i need to make a two digit system now, what are you going to do? Are you going to relearn all these again? Just kind of make everything, you know, consistent? Or are you going to start right here with your two-digit number system? So these ones are going to be, you know, your one-digit number system. But this is going to be your two-digit number system. Will that confuse you? And so it's really important that you know what you're doing ahead of time. You know, kind of having a plan of attack where you're learning information. So hopefully, Chris, this, is, um, this video answers how you would memorize a lot of digits of pi. Um, because, you know, of course, it comes down to kind of practicing, kind of getting used to your images for your different number system, really knowing them on the spot. So if someone says 93, instantly I know that's Big Bird from Sesame Street. If someone says 35, instantly know that's a mummy. Because, um, of course, if you don't really know your images, it's going to be a very slow process when you're going through this. So, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Look forward for more videos. I got something uh, really fun planned. There might be another one today, depending on what goes down, on um, what other things I have to do. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.